Hello, sweet faces. Welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at multiplication. We have two options for our strategy. As you can see here, we talked about doing traditional or box multiplication. Since they are two separate strategies, I have recorded them as two separate videos. So if you are preferring to see box, please make sure you switch to the other video because this video we are going to be looking at traditional. When we set up our traditional multiplication, we're always going to put the number with the least amount of digits on the bottom. So bigger number on top, smaller number on the bottom. And then we're gonna start with our ones place. Two times six is 12, I carry. Two times six is 12, add one is 13. First one is 132. Setting up the same way with an eight. If you have trouble with eights, go ahead and use your skip counting. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. I can make myself a little quick drop sheet over here, or I can use a multiplication table if I need to. And how do I use that? Well, here I have eight times three. If I have three eights, it's gonna be 24. If I have four eights, it's going to be 32, but I need to add two, so that's going to be 34. Six eights is 48, but I'm going to add three is 51. That means that 643 times eight gives me 5,144. This is just one strategy that I can use if I'm sticky. For this next one where we're multiplying by seven, if you're stuck, Let's talk about strategies. Seven times two we should know is 14. If we got stuck on five times seven, we can skip count by our fives until we get to 35. When we add one, it's 36. If I have seven times four and I'm not sure, seven times two is 14. If I double it, that's gonna be 28. I'm gonna add my three, that's gonna give me 31 or 3,000. 164. So remember, I can skip count. I can use adding. I can use finding the fact that I know and adding on. Stick with the strategy that makes sense to you. Over here, four times eight, we use that up here. It said it was 32. Eight times two is 16. If I add three, that's going to be 19. That means that 24 times eight is 192. I have two more on this page. Seven times eight is 56. Five times eight is gonna give me 40. When I add five, it's 45. That means that 57 times eight is five, 456. Over here, multiplying by three, two times three is six. Four times three is 12. I carry four times three is 12. Add one is 13. 1,326. If you have questions on this page, bring them with you to class. Jumping in to page number two, setting it up, lining up my pieces. Nine times nine is 81. Nine times two is 18. Add eight is 26. Nine times one is nine plus two is 11. 129 times nine gives me 1,161 over here. Seven times four is 28. Six times seven is 42. Add two is 44. 64 times seven is 448. Down here, multiplying by four, not bad. Remember four is just a double of a double. So two times four is eight. Nine times four is 36, 368. Multiplying by six, three times six is 18. Six times six is 36, add one is 37. Six times three is 18, add three is 21. 363 times six is 2,178. Multiplying by eight, four times eight is 32. Six times eight is 48, add three is 51. Seven times eight is 56, add five is 61. 6,112. Last one on page two, multiplying by five. Nine times five is 45. Eight times five is 40, add four is 44. So 89 times five, is 445 
If you have questions on page two, bring them with you to class. Moving and grooving on to page number three, setting it up. Bigger number on top, smaller on bottom, lining up our ones places. Three times four is 12. Six times four is 24. Add one is 25. Four times two is eight. Add two is 10. 1,052. Eight times one is eight. Nine times eight is 72. 728. Seven times two is 14. Seven times seven is 49. Add one is 50. 504. Over here, multiplying by six. Five times six is 30. Four times six is 24. 24 add three is 27. Seven times six is 42. Add two is 44. That means that 745 times six is 4,470. We have some matching facts here. Seven times three is 21. Seven times three is 21. Add two is 23. Seven times one is seven. Add two is nine, 931. And over here, six times five is 30. Six times five is 30. Add three is 33. Questions on page three. Bring them with you to class. Moving on to page number four, setting it up. We have five times nine. That's, ooh, flip flop. Five times nine is 45. Five times seven is 35. Add four is 39. Five times seven, again, 35. Add three this time is 38. 3,895. Over here, drop your eight. Eight times one is eight. Eight times eight is 64. Easy peasy. Over here, double, but they're the same. Six times four is 24. Six times four, still 24. Add two is 26. Coming over here with our eight. Two times eight is 16. Eight times eight is 64. Add one is 65. 8 times 9 is 72, add 6 is 78, 7,856. Putting our 8 down, 2 times 8 is 16, 8 times 0 is 0, add 1 is 1, and 7 times 8 is 56. That gives us an answer of 5,616. Last one for page number 4. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. 186. Questions on page four. Bring them with you. Last one, my loves, and then we're done. If you got this far, congratulations on putting extra effort into practicing your skills. Eight times eight is 64. Seven times eight is 56. Add six is 62. Seven times eight hasn't changed. It's 56. Add six is 62. That means that 778 times eight is 6,224. Over here, setting up, nine times two is 18. Nine times nine is 81. Add one is 82, 828. This one is nice and easy. Eight times two is 16. Eight times one is eight, add one is nine. Over here, multiplying by two just means we're doubling. Eight times two is 16. Two times one is two, add one is three. Two times three is six, 636. Seven times four is 28. Four times two is eight, add two is 10. Four times one is four, add one is five, 508. And the last one for our practice this week. Four times five is 20. Five times five is 25. Add two is 27. That brings us to the end of this week's practice questions. Bring them with you.